So when you usually see my bench, you see it like this with these bright white LEDs lighting up the surface. Um, it's those strips of LEDs that you can cut up in groups of three. Uh, these are bright white, but they're not all that bright, especially when I'm videoing. And I get this issue where you get this reflection on the screens because of where I fixed those lights. And as you can see, they're mounted under this shelf here. And it was a bit of an afterthought, if I'm honest. Just uh, a few LEDs left on the string, and I thought these would be useful, and I could make this a workbench. And they've served their purpose pretty well, but I think it's time for a change. So while searching around eBay the other day, I bought some of these. These are warm white cob LEDs. These are 5 watt, uh, 300 milliamps, 17 volts, um, as advertised. And I thought these might be a better solution. The issue is they get quite warm, so you need some sort of heat sink on them, especially if you're going to use them for a little while. So this is what I've come up with. Um, this is a piece of metal. Um, I think it's steel. It's galvanised steel. Now, I'm not sure if the galvanisation, is that the right word, uh, will have an impact here, but... The idea is, I think I can mount these on here somewhere, and this steel flat strap will help dissipate the heat created by these LEDs. So the very simple theory uh, is to place the assembly with the LEDs and this flat strap up here, with another piece of flat strap across this can rest on top of that and also it can easily slide forward and backwards depending on where I need the light and the whole thing's made out of metal it'll be like one big heat sink so wouldn't you know it these holes sadly don't line up exactly where I need them so I'm going to have to drill each end so I'm not massively worried about making sure it's perfectly level. I think I can do this by eye. About a centimetre there from the bottom of that shelf. I could use nuts and bolts for this but I rarely get a chance to use my rivet gun. Good, that's not going anywhere. I'll do the same on the other side. So now I have to work out how I'm going to mount the LEDs and of course how I'm going to power them. And work out how many I think I need. 15 watts? 20 watts? Hmm. So I've bought some of this silicon heat sink plaster. Now I think this is adhesive, um, so hopefully that will hold on the LEDs onto my big heat sink here. So it gets a little bit messy, doesn't it, on the fingers? This heat sink compound, um, but I'll move those to one side a minute. Hopefully they'll stick. So what I haven't done yet is explain how I'm going to power these LEDs. Um, I've got my Minghe adapter here, DC to DC converter, set to 300 milliamps and 17 volts, which is what the auction says is the right voltage to run these at full brightness. So let's turn that on. I'm just going to cover my hand so it doesn't swamp the camera. There we go. Nice and bright. Constant current which is 306 milliamps and they're pulling 16.75 volts. But you might be able to see it on camera, the positive and negative here, there is another positive and negative over this side. And what I'm hoping is these are parallel and the LEDs are connected in between, which means I can just run each cob 
LED in a string, one connected to the other. So I've brought down the power a bit, um, so it doesn't entirely swamp the camera out. Um, and it's delivering at the moment 13.25 volts and just 7 milliamps. So what I can do now is check that the same, what was it, 13.25 volts is available on the other side of the cob. And if I probe there and there, excellent. So let me try and explain what I mean by that. You might be able to see that there are 10 individual LEDs in this cob. Um, and we know now that the positive and the negative actually run through the cob from one side to the other. So in between there must be some LEDs. Now at 17 volts and with an average of you know 3.3, 3.2 volts voltage drop over each LED then quick bit of maths 3.2 is well it's going to be five isn't it so we can imagine that there's five leds in series so there must be two strings of five leds i won't draw them all So essentially, this is one cob, and I can have another cob here, and another one over here. And all I need to do is increase the current along these two rails, not the voltage. So I'm going to use this wire because I've got plenty of it. Um, and I intend to wire the positive and negative from one cob through one of these holes the wire will go through the hole to the other side of the bar to this hole and then come out again for the positive and negative and the idea there is that the cob led doesn't then have to take the weight of the cable and i don't need to add cable ties or anything like that the bottom of this bar will of course become the top and the wires will just sit along the top of the bar hopefully that'll be quite neat so I'll get on with the wiring and I'll see you in a minute. So there we are, all wired up. This adhesive doesn't seem to be working, certainly not on that one that's only connected at one side. Yeah, it's not great, I might have to think about that. But I've set the DC to DC converters, 250 milliamps, 17 volts. Whoa, that's quite bright, isn't it? Let me turn them upside down the other way. Okay, so the lights are above the bench now, and let's turn them on. Well, that certainly feels warmer initially. Uh, I'll turn the original lights off. They're only running at 308 milliamps at the moment, so that's like a quarter of what they can. So let's start ramping that up a bit. So 600, that's about half so 10 watts and 900 three quarters oh and 1.2 is full brightness all four cobs getting 300 milliamps at 17 volts let's just bring the lito cargo back that we were having problems on the screen reflections and that seems better and of course i can move this bar further back or further forward and change the reflections. In all honesty, this isn't the best thing 
to permanently power these lights, but perhaps that's for another video. You'll have to comment and tell me if you like the new lights, or if in fact you prefer the old lights. Do or in fact both of them at the same time. Do let me know uh, in the comments below, and if you could give me a thumbs up, that'd be appreciated. Thanks for watching.